In the past, art and science have combined to depict the human body. Now, the visualization of human anatomy has made another giant step. On August 5, 1993, a cadaver was imaged from head to toe with the same magnetic resonance imaging and computed tomography equipment used in medical diagnosis. So much for the familiar. The cadaver was then encased in blue gelatin and frozen to minus 160 degrees Fahrenheit. A custogenic map was used to remove one millimeter sections of the rock hard block, revealing slice by slice the beauty and detail within. After each pass, high resolution color digital photographs were taken of the remaining block, yielding the first digital description of an entire human being. This seminal collection of 1,878 aligned images are displayed in rapid succession to show the three-dimensional nature of the internal structure of the human body. The light blue areas which appear throughout the body that were filled with latex prior to imaging so that underlying structures would not be confused with the current image plane. Predominantly vertical structures such as the spinal cord, trachea, esophagus, major blood vessels, long bones, and many muscles can be followed through their entire course. This national resource is part of the Visible Human Project, sponsored by the National Library of Medicine. It was created at the Center for Human Simulation at the University of Colorado Health Sciences Center in Denver. It is in the public domain and on the internet. The cutting and imaging process produces undistorted, precisely registered data. Evidence of this success can be seen when the data set is stacked in virtual space and views of the same cadaver are reconstructed in alternative planes. The vertical black lines seen in the reference human below represent missing data, an artifact resulting from the process used to divide the visible human into blocks small enough to accommodate the macrotome. We can stop the animation at any point and identify a number of anatomical structures. Computational scientists and anatomists are working together to isolate and classify anatomical structures. From these data, scientists produce three-dimensional renderings. The shape, color, and texture for the renderings to follow come directly from the data.